Shemuel Bet, Second Samuel, Chapter Ten. And after this, it came to be that the sovereign of the children of Ammon died, and Hanun his son reigned in his place. And David said, "Let me show loving commitment to Hanun, son of Nahash, as his father showed loving commitment to me." So David sent by the hand of his servants to comfort him concerning his father. And when David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon, the chiefs of the children of Ammon said to Hanun, their master, Is David esteeming your father in your eyes, in that he has sent comforters to you? Has David not rather sent his servants to you to search the city, and to spy it out, and to overthrow it? So Hanun took David's servants and shaved off half their beards, and cut off their garments in the middle as far as their buttocks, and sent them away. And they informed David, and he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. And the sovereign said, Wait at Jericho until your beards have grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had become a stench to David, the children of Ammon sent, that, sent and hired Arameans of Beth Rehob and Arameans of Tobah, 20,000 foot soldiers, and the sovereign of Makkah, 1,000 men, and men of Tob, 12,000 men. And David heard and sent Joab and the entire army, the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out and put themselves in battle array at the entrance of the gate. And the Arameans of Sabah and Rechol and the men of Tob and Makkah were by themselves in the field. And Joab saw that the battle line was against him before and behind. And he chose out of all the chosen men of Israel and put them in battle array against the Arameans. And the rest of the people he gave under the hand of Abishai, his brother. And he put them in battle array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Arameans are too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the children of Ammon are too strong for you, then I shall come and help you. Be strong and let us show strength for our, Elo for our people and for the cities of our Elohim. And let Yah do what is good in his eyes. And Joab drew near and the people with him to battle against Aram, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Arameans were fleeing, they also fled before Abishai and went into the city. And Joab returned from the children of Ammon and came to Jerusalem. And Aram saw that they were smitten before Yisrael, and they gathered together. And Hadadazer sent and brought out the Arameans who were beyond the river. And they came to Chelam. And Shobach, the commander of the army of Hadadazer, went before them. And it was reported to David, and he gathered all Yisrael and passed over the Yarden and came to Chelam. And Aram set themselves in battle array against David, and they fought with him. And Aram fled before Yisrael, and David killed seven hundred charioteers and forty thousand horsemen of Aram. And he struck Shobach, commander of their army, who died there. And all the sovereigns, the servants of Hadadazer, saw that they were smitten by Yisrael, and made peace with Yisrael, and served him. And the Arameans were afraid to help the children of Ammon any more.